This video will demonstrate how to use the henderson hasselbalch equation to find the proper ratios for making a buffer of a given pH. In this particular example, we'll be looking at making a buffer of citric acid with sodium citrate as the counter ion. And we have the Ka for citric acid and the target pH. With this information, we can write out the henderson hasselbalch equation, pH equals pKa, plus the log of the ratio between the two ions. We'll write CIT minus for the citrate ion. This is the conjugate base to the citric acid. We plug in the values of pH, and we use the fact that pKa is minus log of the Ka to find the value there. So we have 5.72 for the pH, and we're going to take minus log of the pKa, which is 3.20 times 10 to the minus 7. We continue to write out the logarithm of our uh, ratio here. So once we have all of this in place, we can simplify this expression. And for the negative log of the Ka, we get 6.49. So now we want to have numbers on one side and logarithms on the other. So we'll subtract 6.49 from both sides. And this leaves us with negative 0.77 being equal to the log of our ratio. Once we have this in place, we're going to use the base 10 and raise that to each of these. We'll have a number for 10 raised to the negative 0 0.77. 10 to the log of anything is just the argument itself. And so now we can see that we have the ratio of citrate ion to citric acid. We simplify this value and find that we have 0.170. So now that we have a numerical value for the ratio of these two, we can state that if there is, say, one molar citric acid, then we need to use 0 0.170 molar sodium citrate. And so with this conclusion, we can create a buffer of citric acid and sodium citrate that will maintain a pH of 5.72.